and it's a bit like playing defense. Um, if you're not if you're not in there with them and amongst them, you know, with the government, you're going to get run over by the rules and the regs. So uh, I hate to say that, but but we we have to be in there as a part of the process. If you're not, it's just like not voting in an election, and then you know, and then whining about the outcome. So, and, and Bill, you've been involved maybe more with the committees that deal with, uh, uh, like the DOT, uh, yeah. that deal with technical issues and trying to work through technical issues, right? Yeah. The uh, when I was on the the uh, and the AGC and the NCDOT set up what they call the Bridge Design Subcommittee, and this was this was in the beginning. This was when it started, and it was sometime in the I want to say the middle 80s, something like that. You know, I was young, I didn't know anything. But I wound up being on this committee with some of the brightest people at the, in the NCDOT and with the contractor community. And uh, our task was to look at current bridge designs and see how we could make them more cost effective, uh, uh, build them quicker. Uh, and sort of standardize some things if we could. And we came up with some amazing uh, uh, refinements to the design details. Uh, and that, uh, that was in the beginning, so there was a lot of fertile ground to plow. You know? And it, that was a lot of fun for me, but it made a huge difference to the, to the details, to the design of the bridges that began to come out for us to build. That design uh, subcommittee still exists, and they're still doing good work. So that was that was a very meaningful thing that you know a lot of people probably lose sight of, don't even know it ever happened, but it still is going on. So.